Hey everybody, Chuck Barone here. It's Friday, February the 10th, 2023. Let's wrap this week up and get on to the Super Bowl. Yay, it's going to be a great weekend, guys. As always, before we start the show up, I just want to welcome everybody to the show. Thank you guys for your support. You know, you're watching these videos, keeps us going every day. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, markets today, ending the week the way they kind of began the week, mixed. Not much happening in the markets today. A lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty in these markets. So stocks end the day mixed with the S&P and the Dow Jones both making small gains. But the NASDAQ down more than 100 points. I think that... Uh, NAS has to give back some of the rally they had in tech stocks when everybody was feeling a little giddier this over the past week or so. Giving those gains back, there's no real reason to be super optimistic, and there's no real reason to be super negative right now. So the market just kind of laying there, not kind of looking for direction, so to speak. The bond market today is selling off. Uh, Ten year up six basis points, 374, 3.74 percent. Uh, the two-year up 10 basis points, 4.53%. Uh, the inversion is still pretty significant. I think, you know, these rates are still going to go up. We're going to see another rate increase coming in March, likely another one following at their next uh, open market committee meeting. I think the bond market now is kind of dawning on them that, you know, they're not going to get this perfect Goldilocks scenario they want. Bond market adjusting. The dollar today up small, 103.58 on the index. Not a lot of movement in the dollar over the past week or so. Uh, but even with the dollar up small today, metals making gains. Gold up small, $3.60, $1,866 and change. Silver up a nickel, $22.09. Uh, I'd like to see these guys get back up a little bit. That decline. I think is really unwarranted. I guess there's, you know, it's pretty easy to sell a little bit when you got some pretty nice profits in them, though. But I think metals have a way to run. I think the dollar is not going to stay this elevated forever. Met, hold your metals, guys. It's going to be, uh, you're going to be happy you did. Oil today up a dollar seventy, seventy nine dollars eighty two cents for a barrel of West Texas Intermediate. Oil just in this trough, sitting there. Not a lot happening in that market either. And Bitcoin rounding out the week. Down $279 today, $21,597. Still holding pretty good. I mean, it was down to 16 Back up, closing in on 24 Now kind of settling back down. We'll keep an eye on that for you guys. News you guys need to wrap up this week. Well, there's some interesting stuff today, guys. Consumer sentiment measure. This is what we were kind of looking for today. The index shows consumer sentiment rising. The index sitting at 66.4, up from 64.9 in January. So over the past month, consumers feeling a little bit better about the immediate prospect for the economy. You have uh, you know, some interesting reports, buoying consumer sentiment, I'm guessing. You have the uh, jobs, 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 and wages going up. And you have inflation numbers coming down. Not a surprise, consumers would feel a little bit better. This is the best number on this index since January of 2021. The expected number was 65, so they beat that number pretty handily. But interestingly, the index of consumer expectations dropped from 62.7 to 62.3. Now this index, what this does, is measures where consumers think the economy will be in one year or five years. So consumers feeling okay about the economy right now and a little more positive about it, but feeling significantly more negative about where the direction of the economy and where the economy would be going in the next year to five years. They feel like inflation will still be a problem. They know this Goldilocks job scenario is not gonna be a permanent thing or is highly unlikely to be. So consumers kind of Looks like they're in the right place right now. And the consumer sentiment is edging higher as it should, but it's certainly at, at you know, <laughs> 66 is not over exuberant. They're not believing they're, you know, we're out of the woods in it by any means, but 
feeling like maybe we're moving in that direction. So I thought that was interesting. Also today I was reading, Walmart is now warning its suppliers about price hikes. Uh, Walmart won't take too many more price hikes. They're starting to really push the off brand, their great value brands and others as alternative to these you know, uh, major suppliers with their price hikes. They feel like suppliers might be just gouging a little bit because these price hikes don't reflect the actual cost differences, the cost hikes they're receiving. And Walmart, you gotta understand guys, hugest retailer on the planet, very sensitive to prices. Because Walmart's whole shtick is that they are the low price leader. Well, now they got some competition in that direction dollar stores and other places fighting to get those low income shoppers. So Walmart sensitive to price hikes, kind of warning their suppliers about that. I think it's a fascinating thing right there where you have the king of capitalists, one of my favorite companies to hate with their practices with labor, with how they, they actually train people to get, un, you know, to get food stamps and other benefits to subsidize the pay Walmart's giving them. So it's interesting to me to see that they're actually warning about these price hikes because, you know, Walmart never a company afraid to make a profit, right? And then finally, finishing the week up, this is kind of something I guess, you know, goes into the, you told me so, right? So the CPI numbers for November and December have been revised and surprise, surprise, they've revised up. Now, when we talked about those numbers in those months, a lot of viewers were of the opinion that the government can't be trusted, their numbers can't be trusted, they're likely bullshit. And, well, now they're being revised, so showing those numbers weren't perfectly accurate. So it shows prices rising more than they'd, than they'd said. Actually, they were showing in those months prices falling. Now they're actually rising. So December was rised instead of down 0.1% to up 0.1%. November revised from down 0.1. No, I'm sorry, December from down 0.1 to up 0.1. November from up 0.1 to up 0.2. So here's the new numbers. CPI up 0.4%. In November. Prices up 0.3% in December instead of the 0.1 they showed. Well, that's really interesting. I don't know, you know, the exact, I mean, I guess it, that could, these numbers reflect people's feelings. The media obviously hugely influential here. So they're kind of, you know, I think that might be part of the reason that the uh, expectations for the future are way lower than they are for expectations of markets today, the economy today, is because the media plays such an oversized role in creating expectations. So depending on what you're hearing, who you're listening to, you know, where you're consuming your media, you're probably hearing negative, 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 negative after negative on the economy, depending on one side. Also, you're hearing this Goldilocks, perfect, everything's great, going great on the other side. The truth probably lies somewhere in the middle. You know, they say there's three sides to every story, right? But anyway, I just thought it was interesting. You guys might want to know. You may not have seen that those numbers were revised up. Surprise, surprise. And uh, we'll see where we're, you know, what happens with January's revised numbers and where the actual CPI number comes up this month. Um, anyway, that's it for the show, guys. We appreciate your guys' support as always. We've got a big weekend here with the Super Bowl. Who do you guys like? There are a lot of people betting on Philly here in Vegas. A lot of people betting on the Chiefs. There's big proposition bets. Have you heard this crazy? I mean, people even betting that, you know, the center will score a touchdown or Patrick Mahomes will catch a touchdown pass or they have a Brazilian proposition bets on this game. It's a lot of fun. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Guys and gals, got to get the gals in there. And uh, we'll be back on Monday. Big week next week. Lots of interesting stuff coming up. Big data week coming. We'll be here to report it all. Until next week, guys, have a super awesome Super Bowl weekend. And we'll see you again on Monday.